Hey, hey! Welcome to today's stream! We're gonna do a long one today. Um, we're gonna try and... Oh, wait. Is my microphone like super loud now? Huh. Maybe I... Like this? Yeah, this should be better, right? Sorry about that. Uh, so we're gonna do a long stream today. We are going to do... Day 14. The Advent of Code. And if we finish it early enough, we're going to try to do day 11. We're going to catch up. So, yeah, welcome to today's stream. Now, let's get started. I also want to say, well, I'm going to wait a bit. I have a special birthday wish that was supposed to come yesterday, but it didn't come. And then, so yeah, we're going to do both of them. And then we are going to take a short break, like between the two. Just so, you know, I have to catch a breather and stuff like that, you know? You gotta take care of yourself. Let me see. Like this. Now we have optimal terminal size. Am I wrong? All right. Let's look at day 14. Also, let me know in chat if there's any audio issues, if there's it's anything, really. I'm always trying to improve, but uh, it's hard to uh, it's hard to tell, you know, because I'm I, I don't watch the stream. I just do the stream. So y'all have to do. Also today, especially, we're using a new encoder. We're using the Intel QuickSync encoding, which is like a it has like a specialized chip on the CPU to do video encoding for some reason. I mean, yeah, okay, that's good. So, let me know if the quality is bad or not. Um, it should be good. I mean, th that's what the online kind of reviews said. But, I don't know. I'm not watching the stream. Alright, let's get started with today's stream. Let's open up, uh... Let's open up a new one. You're joining us from earlier, um... You notice that my setup is a bit different, and that's because I am streaming from Iceland now. I'm in quarantine in Iceland. My first test came back negative, so I didn't catch it in Sweden. But I might have caught it on the way. So, and we gotta be careful. Uh, we wanna hug ma um, or grandmas, right? For Christmas. I had like a super getup. That was... It was intense. I had like a face shield and everything. But it was nice. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Module main where? Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Ugh. Let's look at, uh, Today's problem. And with the code 2020. So how's everyone doing? Is everyone... Has anyone done this yet? Does anyone know if it's hard or... Like what's, uh... What's the dealio? Is it good stuff? Day 14. Oof. Oosh. Okay. Now we're gonna do some stuff. We're gonna be editing memory. Yeah, it's gonna take some state manipulation. Let's see. The Asher Ferry approaches the seaport. The captain asks for your help. Again. The computer system that runs this port isn't compatible with the docking program on the ferry. So the docking let me just lower the output of my desktop volume a bit what if i do like this yeah you can still hear it but it's a lower for me all right now i not being because i used to have like a better sound card i could like tweak how much i hear myself like a monitoring and i could tweak i could tweak how much i heard uh, the audio coming out from my desktop but now i can't so but, you know, I think this is quite a nice setup for being on the go, right? It's quite expensive too, but life is not about money. It's about enjoying. So if you gotta spend money to enjoy, that's alright by me. Alright, so let's see. After a brief inspection, you discover that the Seaport's computer systems are used a strange bit mask system in its initialization program. All you can... 
Although you don't have the correct cheat code or chip handy, you can emulate it in software. Okay. The initialization program, your partial input, can either update the bit mask or write a value to memory. Okay. Values to memories are just at both 36 bit unsigned integers. Oof. That's big integers. Good thing we have, uh, that's called integers. Okay, bitmask is always given as a string of 36 bits written with the most significant bit representing 2 out of 30, 2, two in the power of 35 on the left and the least significant bit that is the ls bit on the right. Let me just check check one thing. Did I Yeah. Okay, and uh, one more thing. Just one more thing. All right, it's it's okay. So we take the bit mask. We're gonna use data bit for this, I think. The current bit mask is applied to the values immediately before they are written to memory. A zero or one overwrites the corresponding bit in the value, while an X leaves a bit in the value unchanged. For example, consider the following program: mask is a bunch of X's one and then X X zero X. Uh, memory eight is eleven. It's one one. Okay, memory of seven is one o one. And then mem of eight is zero. So the masks, the mask it specifies overwrite two bits in every written value. The twos bit is overwritten with zero, and the sixty fours s sixty four s bit is oh, sixty. Okay, yeah, yeah, bit representing sixty four. I get it. Okay, I get it. The program then tends to write the value eleven to memory address eight. By expanding everything out to individual bits, the mask applied is as follows. So value 11. So that's decimal 11. Yeah, okay. 1011. Okay. Well, so it's a decimal 11 there, not 101. Okay. As applied as the value. So value is 011. Okay. And then it applies a mask and then it changes this bit here to be 0 and this bit to be 1. Okay. Yes. Okay, memory address 8 and then the program writes to write 101 as 101 to the address 7. So this becomes 1, this becomes okay. And uh, like this and then it does this time the mask has no effect. Okay, yeah. Finally, the program tries to write sprite write 0 to address 8. So the value is 0 and then it masks it and then it's 64. Okay, yeah. 64 is written to address 8 instead, overriding the value that was there previously. To initialize your Ferry's doggy program, you need to sum of all values left in memory after initialization program completes. The entire 36-bit address space begins initialized to the value 0 at every address. In the above example, only two values in memory are not 0. 101, 101 at address 7 and 64 at address 8. Reducing a sum of 165. Okay. Seems seems good. Now let's take in the program. And let's get started. New file. Test dash input. Paste it. Okay, now let's write the parser like we did yesterday. Probably overkill. Uh let's say uh, let's have a copy of the input here um, okay uh, we are going to import text.parsec um, uh, we're going to import text.parsec it's going to be like this main so so how are we going to represent the program? We're going to say data memory. Uh, the data data memory equals okay. So the mask. So the mem. Okay, the mask is going to be a function from bit to bit, right? Import qualified data.bit 
you know, let's just import data dump bit, right? So we're going to be using mem integers here to represent these values. So this is just going to be integer to integer. That's a function, right? Okay, and then the memory is going to be an array with integer indicus because uh, we have too many bits to carry around an int. Memory is going to go from integers to integers. Okay, what doesn't want bit it up bit? What? data dot bits like this now uh get input file path to io memory get input equals so parse uh parse uh right we have to import text dot parsec dot byte string uh what no, is that is this overwritten oh right we have to import data dot array like this okay and uh, how's everyone doing tonight oh hey timmy yeah happy birthday yesterday timmy well deserved birthday uh parse file no wait what was the text.parsec one text parsec it's quiet today it's not not as many people as usual i think it's because it's a monday people don't like mondays parse from file uh, parse mem uh this is gonna be parse from file parse mem io uh, da, 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 da. uh so this is gonna be uh do res fp fp and then case res of uh can't we just like use something from data dot either to do this yeah yeah i know that's why we need state So we're going to be using the ST monad. Oh, set the mask multiple times. Okay. I see. So every instruction will set it multiple times. Okay, I think that's maybe spoiler alert for part two. Right, Timmy? So parse mem is going to be a parser for memory. Uh, right, the actual input will set the mask multiple times. Okay, so so okay, so I see. So we will need to do it that way. After brief, okay, so initialization can either update the bet mask or yeah, okay, so okay, so we have a we have an instruction here. So uh, we, let's see, data instruction is going to be uh, it's either a mask update ticker or it's going to be a memory mem op. And we're gonna have the index of the memop. And uh, we're going to have uh, the value of the memop. Let's uh, deriving show. So this is gonna be a list of in instructions okay so pars
so parts uh, ins that's just gonna be uh, set by new line of uh, text dot parsec yeah I would use our auto parsec here but uh, it's not installed by default on my system so I'm trying to use like things that are used are there by default essentially uh, let's see that is going to be set by one uh, right and it was here parse ins and then a new line right parse in a parse in and then uh, so parse ins is going to be a parse ins parser for okay so we parse in and when we parse in that is going to be okay so it's going to be a choice of parse a mask or parse parse mem up now parse mask so what is parse mask going to be uh parse mask is going to be it's gonna be I think yeah, let's just do so it's gonna be do so it's gonna be string so that starts with a mask mask space equals space okay and then we will have a parser yeah I mean I, I'm not gonna download the input right away so let's see but I, I believe you I believe you, Timmy. So... How do I define a mask? Did it out of bits. Bitwise, uh, or so. So we're just gonna parse them. Uh, so they're gonna be X or one or zero. So we're gonna be, we're gonna have a, like a list of nothings. Uh, or it's going to be maybe and then just one or just zero. I think, or do, no, um, or just, just uh, do nothing, just true or just false. Okay, uh, so we're going to do many one. Uh, res is many one of pars mask. Mask uh, info, something like that. So parse mask info. So then we're gonna like return a mask info. So now let's just do here mask info to mask over this. Now parse mask info is gonna parse. It's gonna parse maybe bool. It's gonna be a parser for maybe bool. Parse mask info is gonna be. It's going to be, uh, what is it going to be? It's going to be, so choice of, okay, it's going to be char x. And then we learned yet last time, like it's this operator, right? 
what was it it was that operator right yeah so then we do nothing and then this uh let's see okay and then we will say nothing char x or just true char one or just false char zero okay and now we have to define mask info to mask it's going to take a maybe bool and it's going to return uh an instruction so then we're going to define a mask okay it's from integer to integer okay so we're going to say here mask info to mask oh no uh, this is like per instruction right no 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 yeah yeah yeah. so we will take in a, a mask info to mask it's gonna take a list of maybe bulls to instruction right so we are going to say sip so it's gonna take you know zero and so on and we're gonna look at the reverse uh, uh misc so reverse of the mask okay and we are going to say so uh where okay so now so we're gonna and then we're gonna apply this f function here we're gonna apply what, what's the type of uncurry again let me see T and curry right we're gonna apply a map uncurry f to this where uncurry f uh no this is we're not gonna define uncurry we're gonna say so f of i comma so f of i comma nothing that's going to be that's going to be a uh, id. I, I want to see so because like now I'm like defining a function will just like apply all the functions in the mask to the integer but that seems that seems a bit much right mask Okay, let's just do it this way. Um, this, so if it's nothing, then it's gonna be... It's gonna be... Um, a function. So we're gonna be getting a list of functions, right? <laughs> Uh, this is just gonna be okay. We're, so we're gonna first before we do this, we're just gonna say filter. Um, wait, let me see. So we have these. What I'm gonna do first is I am going to. I want to like. I want to like F, I want to like do cat maybes and then just uh, let me see. I I sip with the uh, numbers cat maybe of uh, 
So we're gonna say here uh, drop nothing is going to be so I comma nothing is gonna be nothing drop nothing of I comma just X is gonna be just I comma X. So then we're gonna sip this and then we're going to we're gonna cat maybe a map drop nothing of these and then we're going to map uh, okay let's let's just look at yeah so this is going to be giving us uh, like the list of instructions and then we will say now and then we will have like a list of you know one is going to be true two is going to be two is going to be false or like Five is gonna be false. So, so then we want to say so. Too fun. Too fun is gonna be too fun. Uh, I comma true. Too, okay, so too fun. I comma b is gonna be if b then set bit. We're gonna flip set bit i else flip let's see here we're gonna we're gonna let's see it's gonna flip flip and then if b then set bit else clear bit uh i so then we change the model to functions and then we are going to say uh, map to fun of this and then we're going to we're going to say fold l1 okay now fold l and we're going to fold l with compose on id of this list do you get what i am doing here it's kind of crazy right anyway uh, this is how i'm going to do it this is going to be very inefficient because we're not using the bit operations we're like we're using data.bit and i don't think that it does any optimization of it but that's that's how we're gonna do it i'm just wondering because like it doesn't say any oh here ask oh this is gonna be mask okay because it's not it wasn't returning any errors or anything let me see parser or an input like this okay and the issue here couldn't match expected type instruction yeah so this is gonna be mask of cat and there's gonna be cat maybes we're gonna import that from data.maybe Okay, and... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, wait, we can just do map, maybe. Maybe. Which is gonna be fine. We can map maybes here. Okay, uh, mask info to mask. MSK. Um... let's not derive show let's actually say instance show instruction where because we can't derive it show mask msk is equal to 
show mask applied to zero bits show mem mem up i i a n equals so this is gonna be mask mask equals plus plus it's gonna be mem a plus 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 i show i plus plus uh this equals plus plus uh and show n right okay so this is going to be parse ins and uh, parse ins okay now we parse masks and we did this funky integer thing let's parse memory operations parse mem up it's gonna be easier right parser instruction parse mem up that's gonna be do and then it's gonna say mem uh, so it's gonna be string mem and then it's gonna be uh, take while take take uh, uh it's like end by one or something like right right end by separated and ended by sep oh okay uh, why is it i wanna i wanna take like a i wanna take many many till okay many till right then we're gonna say uh, uh adder is gonna be many Till uh, applies parser p okay many tail and then something here and it's gonna be char like this Dude, returns the list of values returned by P. What does try mean? Try. I mean, it's okay. So we want... No, okay. Yeah. Do we want to say try this? And here we want to say many till digit, right? And then we want to say... Uh, we're gonna, you know, we're just gonna read this. And then, so that's gonna be our address. And then it's going to say string. I think it's gonna say like this. Like, I think it will have consumed the char. And then string, and then a uh, val is gonna be the same again. That's gonna be read many till new line uh many till digit new line and then we're going to return uh mem up adder well doesn't parsec have a handy decimal parser uh, that might be. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it parses digit. Parsec decimal. Uh, so this is like not included in parsec, right? So we'll just we'll just read it. It's gonna be fine. Okay, now let's try and see what happens main it's gonna be print uh main equals do get input test input into into print but we haven't defined get input what's wrong here oh yeah okay
We're gonna get a power server for sure, right? Or did we just nail it? Oh, right, we have to run it. Okay, we got mask 64. But we didn't get... Uh, we didn't get anything else. Probably because... This one failed. No. Uh, so we have we are showing it here. Oh. Uh, so I oh, okay. So I think it's just. I think it's just gonna be not new line. I think it's gonna be just many one digit. I think because we we do sepai on the lines, right? Huh. Uh, maybe we do this and then not this. Okay. Hmm. So, so we did the choice. Let's say parse mask is string mask equals. Okay. Mask info to mask mask many one parse mask info. Yeah. We don't need the eye here. So this is gonna be what men eight yeah space equals space. Ding 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 ding. Uh, Parzak has some uh, some kind of thing, right? Can I just write a uh, uh, memo to make it print out what is happening? if I say here so there we get mask and then what's left oh, okay all oh, right it's because this is windows so it's not actually new line it's gonna be end of line Damn it. Okay. Uh, see? This is why Parzik is nice. Are you out of town? Yeah, I'm in Iceland. I'll be here for Christmas. I'm currently just quarantining. Which is... Uh... I mean, that's fine, right? Unexpected E. Expecting mask. Okay, they exit. Okay, now, so now it wrote mask. Uh, oh, it's still it's still doing that, right? It's still uh, it's still like showing me that the entire state here is that just because it will always show the entire state? Unexpected E. Expecting mask. P 
to try in front of Parsim. Oh, what? Really? Because like in 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 text dot read and in text dot and in text dot uh, and in arrow parsec, like I use arrow parsec, and then I didn't have to. I I could just say choice. That's lame. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, it makes sense. So it had already kind of tried to consume mask. That's weird. Thanks. Etop. Etop Uzova. You know, hacker nicknames or like online nicknames. They weren't really designed to be pronounced, you know? They're designed to be looked at. So they always become a bit weird. Alright, now let's stop this trace here. We don't need it anymore. Bum -ba -dum. Okay. Now we have a list of instructions. It's Alex. Hey, Alex. Yeah, exactly. So my, my name, like Treatlow. Um, it's always so weird <laughs> when people are treat Treatlow. I'm like, you know, it's not supposed to be said. Okay, uh, now then we have the memory, data memory. It's gonna be mem, and then this is gonna be like the current memory. Bram, bram. Um, okay, so we're always gonna apply the current. Wow. Cute name. It's supposed to sound hard, you know? It's supposed to be like, oh shit, Tritlo is here. He's gonna take over our systems. Why use array and not map? Um, I think it works both ways. Um, because I don't think the array, array is just kind of optimized for innumerables. I think it will be faster, but I don't know. It's just because it's an array, right? It's, it's a memory and we're going to be addressing locations in memory. That's why I want to use memory here. So, uh, let's see. Run in instruction. Instruction to memory. Uh, so we are going to say this is actually going to take memory and then an instruction and then a memory. Okay, run instruction mask f is going to be and then the m m uh, is going to be m. Oh, uh, we, we call it mask, right? We just call it mask. Let's see. Yeah, we call it mask and mem. Let's move this below. So this is going to be M and then it's just going to be mask equals F. But, um, oh, thanks for the follow. Sicilian salad. Wouldn't mind some Italian salad right now. Like, you know, the Italians, they know how to make salad. They just put like a bunch of uh, like feta, okay, not feta cheese. Anyway, like the salad I imagine is like you have like this balsamico. Balsamico is so good. You can hear it. I've been in Iceland for a couple of days now and my Icelandic accent is already coming out. That's just how it is. Okay, run instruction, uh, mem op. Okay, we're gonna take the memory, m, and we're gonna say mask equals mask. And we're gonna say mem op, adder val equals. First of all, we're gonna apply the mask to val, and then we are going to update array. Uh, array. Also, also, Timmy, so we might try to do it more optimally later. 
let's actually let's actually just do this right now let's say here instead of instead of saying a uh, this let's say here that we're gonna say run program it's gonna take in a list of instructions and it's gonna be an st uh, data dot st data dot array dot st uh, st monad haskell monad st control monad st because I, you know, I think it's gonna be super slow if you don't have that import control dot monad dot st import a data dot array dot st array uh, data dot array dot st so we're gonna have here run program instruction how do we write this again this so this is gonna be the state the s is gonna be the state and then the a is a return so it's gonna be this is gonna be a the mask uh, integer to integer and it's gonna be our st array of integers to integers that's right so that's not how I use SD, right? Okay, so we actually want to do this run SD array. Um, that's the thing we really want to do. So is it going to be... Because I, I, I can never remember this. So run program. So run program is just going to take in a list of instructions. And it's going to return an array of integer, integer. We don't care about the final mask, right? Program a instrs equals do. So now we're going to say where run program prime equals run st array. Google. Let's see. Stu array. Can integers be unboxed? Probably. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? So let's see. Run stu array. Unboxed array. Should be an instance of x. In sixty four. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Run stu array. So let's have these not be data.integer. Let's have them be data.64 and 64. And then these are going to be x64 or 64 to in 64. And do find. Uh, we need to import int.64 from somewhere. Um. We're not using this anymore. Uh, where is in 64 defined? It's defined in data.int. Import data.int. Okay, so we now we have 64s to 64s. Like the cool thing about that is the way we do the the mask info thing is that it's using data.bit. So that's going to be that's going to be okay. It's gonna still gonna work. So run stu array dollar do. So uh, so the, it, it always starts with an initial mask, right? Uh, bit mask is always written with the most. Bitmask only unit unless the current bitmask is applied to values. The 
the program starts this program starts okay so what is the default mask um let's see can I either update let's just get the input okay yeah it always starts with a mask uh let's see So, so this is going to be run as the array and this is just going to be something that it's going to return us a run as the array uh, it's going to return us a array so then we need data.array.unboxed Okay, so run stu array. So uh, we want uh, we want to write like a loop in the in the in the thing, right? Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, this is going to be for all S, S T S, um, so we're going to write, going to like write a loop somehow. Wait, so let's like this, this is going to be initialized here. So, so. It's gonna be so it's gonna start with mask, okay? And that's gonna be mask F. So the we're gonna say uh, uh, MSK is gonna be new ST ref. Uh Google new ST ref. That's in data.st ref import data.stref new stref msk uh, ms ref and it's complaining so okay it's gonna be this and then okay let me see Safe way to create and work with unbox mutable array before returning an immutable array for a proposal. This function avoids copying the array before returning it. It uses unsafe array frees internally, but this wrapper is a safe interface to that function. Okay, so uh, let's see that. So we want to create like a new ST array somehow. Oof. So now we need M array, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, import data dot array dot M array. Not that safe. Okay. And then R. So mem is going to be the new array. I don't think creating an, a new array with the bound 0 to max bound of int 64 is a good idea. <laughs> I think uh, I think uh, Tim's uh, idea of using a map is better. Cuz yeah, cuz it's, it's going to be super sparse. 
So let's uh, let's do that instead. Let's so let's just write it like this. I think I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine actually. Map in sixty four to in sixty sixty four. No MRAs for us. Import a. Uh, Okay, uh, so let's see. We're gonna say uh, so this memory here. Okay, so uh, the M and the mask with the mask is equal to mask and mem equals to mem. So then we're gonna say. What is it complaining about? I need a, I need a record wild cards. So, uh, I need to do something like this, right? Oh, let's do it like this. But, and then I need a, uh, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be a, um, mem. Yeah, exactly. A m at mem like this. And now I need to enable record wildcards. Wow. See that editor stuff? Yeah. Timmy got it also. Uh, uh, this is gonna be the problem here is that yeah, so we didn't change the types here. Okay, uh, so this is going to be, so we have the memory, this is going to be M, uh, we don't update the mask, but the memory is going to be, we're going to do like data.map.modify or something, data.map.modify, uh, modify with something like that. Or no, we're not, not even going to modify it with. We're just going to say insert. So this is going to be map.insert uh, address mask val uh, mem like that. I'll even do it like this run program so taking a list of instructions it's gonna return us memory data initial memory no uh it's gonna be initial memory so memory initial initial memory uh, let's call it mem equals uh mem the mask is just going to be mask equals id mem equals map dot empty run program run pro uh, run pro gram equals fold l1 okay uh Hold L. Run instruction. Initial memory. Let's see what happens. 
test input print dot run program uh yeah that's because we have here we had a nice show class here right uh let's write it like this show mask msk equals show okay show mask we have that uh this is gonna so we're gonna say distance show memory where uh show uh mem equals uh show mask mask plus a uh, new line plus uh, show mem let's see what happens for the test input Problem is 7101864 and I think that's exactly the result. So we do the sum here and uh, yeah. Okay. Uh solution. List of instructions to an int 64. Solution is going to be uh So where res equals run. So we're gonna say so this is gonna be we're gonna run the program. Okay, uh and then on the result of that we're going to access the memory. And then we're gonna say we're gonna get the elements of memory. We're gonna sum them. Map.elements print solution all right that works let's see if it works for our input or like how slow it is because these mask stuff that is not a fast way to do it let's see here measure Command expression day fourteen out default takes forty five milliseconds to run it. That is a bit much, right? Let's see. All right, we got the first one. Beautiful. Now, let's see how long we're gonna stay today. For some reason, it must be using version 2 of the decoder chip. Instead, it acts as a memory address decoder. Immediately before a value is written to memory, each bit in the bit mask modifies the corresponding bit of the destination memory address. Ugh. If the bit mask bit is 1, is 0, the corresponding memory address bit is unchanged. If it is one, it's overwritten with one. A floating bit is not connected to anything and instead fluctuates and regularly press practice. Oh my god. What? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine, you know, like, you know, we're, I mean, I assume like we have a lot of computer scientists watching the stream and you're going to be like, <laughs> you know, the, the fairy guy, the fairy guy would be like, is there a doctor on board? And you know, you got all these medicine doctors and they're going to be like, I'm a doctor. And they're going to be like, no, 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 we need a doctor of computer science. Why? 
because there's floating bits in our decoder chip and we need someone to fix it before it's too late and i would be like you know i've been preparing for this moment my whole life that'll be good okay so now we gotta we're gonna need to change our oh my god what is this version 2 decoder doesn't modify it's okay so if the bit mask bit is zero so okay it doesn't change zero that is okay if the bit was one else is floating a floating bit is not connected to anything and set fluctuates unpredictably in practice this means that the floating bits will take on all possible values causing memory addresses to be written all at once when this program goes to write the memory address 42, it first applies the bit mask result, and then the, the four bits are all written, three of which are different and two of which are floating. Floating bits take on every possible combination of values. With two floating bits, four actual memory bit memory addresses are written. Sheet. Hi, Cracks. Nice to see more people. We're, we just solved part one. We're solving part two. It like, you know, because I'm not, I'm not getting a, like a, oh, here's a nice way to do this. <laughs> I mean, unless we had like a quantum computer. Because uh, I'm just thinking like, won't we just have to simulate it? This is the advent of code, like the code advent calendar. And we're solving all the problems. We're on day 14. We solved part one, and now we're gonna try and solve that part two, and uh, then we're gonna move on to part day eleven. Cause uh, yeah, I was traveling, so we didn't we didn't finish that. Okay, um, floating bits take on every possible combination of values. With two floating bits, four actual memory addresses are written. Next, the program is about to write memory address twenty six with different bit mask. Oosh. So, okay, yeah, we're, but the program is about saving the ferry that Santa is on from crashing. Okay, the entire is still being initialized to the value zero at every address, and you still need the sum of all values left in memory at the end of the program. Okay, we're not going to be doing this with a map. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking every single memory address. We're going to be mapping the masks to them. And we are going to try and figure out like the last modification to them to it. I think that's that's something, right? Cuz like these floating bits, like they will clash. They will they will clash in some way. You know, because we we're not good at bit manipulation. I mean, so we could, I think we could, uh, we could brute force this, but it's too much, right? Let's see, the input is the same, right? Let's look at our input. Yeah, you see, this is like 575 lines of code, right? And oh, sweet. Let me just reply to one message. <laughs> Alright. You look like Monkey. <laughs> Who is Monkey? Your voice audio is behind, by the way. Oh. That is... Let me... Let me... Let me do... Let me do one thing. One thing only. Do, 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 do. Thanks for thanks for noticing. Yeah, because I can uh, I can delay it. I can say a render delay, and I can say, let's see, is it is it ten milliseconds? Fifteen milliseconds. Is it better now, uh, Chris? Cracks. Like, does it match my voice? I, I didn't notice this in the video I took. So, so is it okay? Let's let's do binary search. Uh, it's a bit better, but it's, st it's still like it's still it's still behind, right? 
Let's put it up to 25. How's that? I can do better. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying to me. I mean, that's like, I, I, that, that will work. But, uh, that is, uh, that is, that's like something we don't want to do. Okay, let's, let's begin by, this is uh, Haskell. Uh, my favorite programming language and many others favorite programming language as well let's see uh let's see let's see what happens let's collect so i think what we want to do we want to collect all the masks and um, so kind of like for what like for each mask what are they gonna be turning out to be Let's see. I mean, on the test input, this is gonna be terrible, right? Like, literally gonna write into every single address. Okay, now, first of all... Oh no, we can't deduplicate. Let's see, can we deduplicate in the input? Uh, like, is it often writing to the same thing again and again? Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's think about it. Uh, yeah, this is Haskell. That's what I just said, right? The Haskell programming language. Quite a nice language. Like, like this is not a language. This is just the input we have for our problem. But this is the language itself. Okay, let's think about this. So the amount of X's, uh, the amount of X is in the address will tell us how many times. So, so here we have like, if we have one X, it's going to be rep repeated two times. So we have two X's, it's going to be repeated four times because there are four possible values. Um, so, so it's going to be, so that's, it's going to be like that, right? Two to the power of number of X's in the mask. Um, how many tabs have you opened? I don't know, man. I lost count. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's how many tabs I'm on right now. Okay, so let's count, let's count the number of X's in a mask. Uh, so let's look. So, cause like, cause like we, we count a number of X's in a mask.
So the, the thing we have to be careful is about clashes. Um. You see what I mean to me, right? So this is going to repeat 100 four times in memory. And this is going to repeat one uh, eight times in memory. So the result is going to be four times 100 plus eight times one, which is 408. Okay, but the issue is that some of them are... This will return right to eight addresses, but some of the issue will be that you know some of these addresses will clash. Uh, <laughs> that's the that's the key trick. Dun, 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 dun. Let's let's look at it. So this will not be this anymore. Not just the max mask function. It's gonna be the actual mask. Uh, it's gonna be actual string. I'm just gonna call it string. And then here we're gonna pass pass mask, and we're gonna say msgr is gonna be many one like this, and then it's gonna be msgr uh, msgr mask in for the mask msgr uh, instruction, and this is gonna be mask of this comma mask. So okay, so this is actually gonna be a not a not a string. It's gonna be a list of maybe boo. Let's see. Uh, let's see. And it doesn't like something here. Yeah. Okay, right. So for solution one, this is gonna be so run instruction mask f uh, f comma x. Uh, it's gonna be f x. Uh, let's just let's just let's just not do it this way. I think we should just kind of start over for part two. Because um, it's just kind of completely different stuff that we're going to be doing. Um, okay, get, it, get input two. So these are going to be. Uh, let's actually not do it like this. Let's just start a new file called day 14 uh, part part 2 dot hs Oops. Let's uh, copy and paste it Rename it to day 14 part part two okay so now now the mask is gonna be <laughs> oh nice always good to have uh, little brothers to do that um uh... 
Okay, let me have some candy. Mm. Yeah, I know Watch Dogs. I didn't... I never played it, actually. Um, it's like too much of a triple A game. Meaning, because like I usually... Like I, I have laptops and like... You know, computers optimized for... Kind of running code and that usually doesn't include such a good gpu so I, I have a hard time playing all these nice fancy games that's it figure out which ones are overlapping it's a real question here So, we're just joining us. We're doing part two, the advent of code. We know that we could just emulate it and just run it, and we'd probably run like not not slow, a couple of milliseconds, or you know, less than a second. But um, it's a uh, it's Turkish pepper. The thing is that my dad doesn't eat candy. So he sometimes just leaves like random bags of candy on my desk, right? Problem is that I don't live here anymore. <laughs> I don't really like Turkish pepper either. But now I have a bag of it on my desk. Like, you know, you remember the, the Peri Piosukur? Like the Icelandic candies? That was the best. And Turkish this is almost like that, except they had like a peppercorn. Well, and I'm like, you know why? Why are you like this? Sure. I mean, just leave the link. I'm not gonna play it right now. But you know, if you leave the link, and I'll catch up on it after the stream. You know, you know what you want to kind of want to do, but you're really trying to figure it out.
Yeah, I will. I will. Let's see. So, so we we will get four times whatever it inputs into that memory. But then we need to figure out how many times will it clash. So we can, we can, uh, can we like reverse engineer, like go in the opposite direction? But then like we have to add all the keys to a set. Can we like take a mask and check if an address is covered by it? Because that will depend on the addresses too, right? Okay, let's uh, let's flip it and reverse it. Y'all, bye. I wish I could play more songs here. I can only play these lo-fi things from this guy, Harris Heller, because it's like a, it's like copyright-free music. So I actually have like a. So, what do you guys want to listen to? Stream beats, EDM, lo-fi, or synthwave, or hip-hop? That's the... That's the options we have. Because now we're gonna engage thought mode. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna go EDM. We have to think. Alright. Ugh. Like, if I was just programming... Oh no! I shut it off. If I was just programming right now, regularly, I would like blast some Rihanna right now. I love like 2009, 2010-ish pop dance music. <laughs> I have the worst, worst taste in music, but you know, I'm proud of it. I like it. Good stuff. Wow, Dylan Beetle is raiding with a party of four. Welcome, party. Hope you enjoy the show. It's mostly me thinking about what I'm trying to do here. And what I'm thinking is... So this, so, okay, so the thing is here, right? This address here. We have this address here, right? Or this mask, okay? I'm like thinking, you know, we can... Yeah, yeah. So... I mean, we know how to... We know we could just simulate it, right? But we're trying to like reverse engineer it to get like an O of N solution. Oh, the thing I thought is, you know, we could like walk backwards in the input. But look at this mask. What are we thinking? If the bit mask bit is 1, the corresponding memory address bit is overwritten with 1. So the 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 so if 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 anything is covered by this one 
covered in the sense that that these X's. So I, I said I would do a marathon stream today, right? And I would like finish this days and eleven day eleven. I don't think we're gonna get to day eleven. Uh, this is this is a hard problem. You want to do it properly, right? So only these bits will matter. The zeros. Because because the, the other bits, the a ones and x, not the x's and o's, the ones and x's. Yeah, so the problem statement here is. We have a mask. Then we have a memory address. And we're going to write to this memory address. Uh, according to this value, according to the mask. But we have these floating things, so that, like, the X's, they take everything and they change them up. So that's gonna be a me that's gonna be a mess. So, le so let's consider, let's consider here. Test input. So let's, let's, let's just, let's just make test input part two. Test input two. It's gonna be this here. Okay. Now, let's look at this. So, forty two is equal to uh and we have a uh, 26 let's just copy oh my god So the thing is that this isn't quite as good as the input in the sense that um, so here we have the mask right and if this were if this were one like it will always be turned into one below so the only bits we have to look at in the addresses what is the uh, what is this it's supposed to be one I forgot to say that here. No, it's there. Okay, so... Oof. Also, int, int to the power of 264 is not gonna be... No, okay, it might be... No, it's not gonna... It's gonna be a... It's gonna be big. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go grab some water. The idea is that okay if, if if the mask has a one in it uh, so 
then uh, and then we don't need to look at that bit so how can we optimize that Ice landing water is the uh, best water. Okay. Let me see. So we walk backwards. Now I have to stop you. You don't like Icelandic water? Wow. You know, there's a reason we all left Norway to live on an island in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and that's uh, mostly the water, you know. I mean, some people say it had to do with taxes, but I think it was actually the water. Uh, I prefer Icelandic water to the Norwegian one actually. I lived in Norway for like two years and uh, yeah I just like my I you know because so there's a saying in Icelandic uh, which translates to you know never was Iceland loved as much or nowhere was Iceland loved as much as in Copenhagen right like when the students went to Copenhagen to study that's when they started loving Iceland, right? So the thing is like, because I live in Sweden now, for, I lived there for five years and I'm like, mm, I miss Iceland, right? So everything from Iceland is the best. Okay, so we're going to be walking backwards through the program. We're going to be figuring out the space of that the space each mask covers. Okay, and then, then we only let me like so so then we so like for the for the first part we add all of them like as many times as the number of X's in the number, and then we go up. Uh, let me let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, first let's. Uh, Let's let's actually so let, we we will parse it, uh, but we were gonna parse mask as just many one, okay? So this is in the part two. So we're just gonna be modifying stuff here. Uh, this is gonna be a list of maybe we'll, uh, show. So this is just gonna be, and we're just gonna be, we're gonna be deriving. Do not drink and derive, huh? So we're gonna be deriving this. Uh, try parse mask. Mask many one. Okay, this is gonna be, and now this is gonna be mask. Uh, parse many one parse mask info. Yeah, this is just gonna be many one parse mask info. Parse memop, that's gonna be the same. Uh yeah. So parse in try parse memop. Memop uh this is because This is gonna be this is gonna be a parsing uh, mask equals and then it's gonna be mask over this. Okay, and now let's uh, let's look at them. We're gonna, we're gonna remove all of this. This is no longer relevant. 
uh, test input two. And we're just gonna print it. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is the wrong one. Day 14, part two. Got an exe. Okay, we have the masks and then we have the mem ups. Yeah. I mean, you're probably from the north, right? I think. I think that's why you think the water in the north is good. I was raised in Reykjavik water, you know? It's my. my birth water. So this is okay. So let's parse these into blocks. Uh, two. So what is a block? A block is gonna be data block is gonna be a block, and it's gonna be it's gonna have a mask, which is gonna be a maybe wall, and it's going to have. Mem ops uh, instruction. Uh, this is just going to be a list of pairs. Sixty-four, comma in sixty-four. Let me write deriving deriving show. Wow, can't shower in Reykjavik. I for one love it when my skin gets torn off by the sulfuric acid. Nothing wakes you up like some sulfuric acid in your shower, you know? List of instructions to a list of, uh, list of a uh, block. Two blocks is going to be a We've written the split add function before. Let's just grab it. No, not here. That's before I used parsers, you know? I was doing the split adds. When did I do it? Split when? Alright. Uh. We're gonna copy paste split when they should really be in the standard library, but you know two blocks is going to be Split when his mask uh, Oh no, and now we now we want the mask So this is gonna be X No, damn it we're gonna be essentially okay. We're gonna rewrite split when. So let's see here. Where is mask? Mask of anything equals true. Is mask of something else is false. So we're gonna say a uh, ins. This is gonna be like comp case break. Uh, is mask of. So. This is gonna return us. Ooh, do, 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 do. So this is gonna be first one. So it's gonna be a, a mask. MSK. Append it to a list of instructions. So and then we're gonna say. Case break is mask uh, ins of uh, first comma rest. That's gonna be block uh, 
block MSK uh, first. Uh, so here we're gonna say to uh, to to pair pair uh, mem up uh, b equals a comma b, and we're gonna uh, so two pair of anything else is just an error not applied to mem up so we're gonna take the first and then we're gonna take the rest and we're gonna say map two pair of the first and this is gonna be concatenated to two blocks of the rest uh first and if we if we don't have anything here, uh, no, this is just, it's gonna be like this actually. Where, so we we're not even gonna say here. We're just gonna say like this. And then we're gonna say. This applied to the rest, and it's going to be two blocks of an empty list is going to be the empty list. So let's look at this. Yeah, the swimming pools are legit, <sighs> but I don't, I don't really, I don't want to go to swimming pools right now. I'm also in quarantine. Literally illegal for me to go to a swimming pool right now. So now we have the blocks. Now let's reverse the blocks. <laughs> Okay, so now the first block. So what was it? So nothing was X. Uh. Gee, no, I moved my keyboard. Screwing up my entire setup here. Let's see. So I'm looking at this. But we still have to figure out the... In previous days, the input has been designed such that there's more specialized... Are we sure that there will be an address clashing here? No, we're not actually sure. You wanna test it? That would be funny, right? Okay, let's just do that. Uh, block. Uh, so block sum. That's gonna take. That's gonna take. Uh, oh, this is a blocks. Turn this into sixty-four. It's gonna return as an integer. Actually, let's just do an integer here. Block sum of uh, let's just do it for one block and then we just sum up for all of them. So it's just gonna be a a block where so num nothing equals length of the mask minus uh, length 
length filter uh, filter is just because I don't I don't want to define is nothing so we're gonna say num nothing times so we're gonna write the memory operation to memory Let's uh, let's dedupe the memory operations. Do we have a nub by? Yeah. Uh, deduped equals nub by compare. So. gonna be equal on second no on first dot function of on so we're gonna dedupe num by first on a mem mem ops so this is gonna be a num nothing no it's gonna be two to the power of num nothing times sum dollar map s and d deduped and this doesn't work because okay uh oh this needs to be imported import data dot list And uh, uh, let's see. Problem here is that this is not an integer, right? Now this says could match will type integer with <laughs> You say will we will there be address clashes and I think there will be right because we got that was from the first problem right we got 408 yeah yeah exactly there's a lots of clashes so Let's grab the mask function here. Okay, we don't have to grab it. These uh, people, they're always trying to sell, trying to make me become famous. I don't get it. Okay, we've nubbed the uh, memops. <laughs> Should, can we just like have, an, have a set of 
addresses which are not covered because we don't like like we don't have to simulate everything but let's just let's just do the kind of the weak thing and grab the covered thing no we need to figure out which ones are bunch of clashes right i mean we already also we saw it from the test input right that's why it doesn't sum up to 408 because um these are already covered So I usually, I used to be a Linux user, but then I, I turned to Windows for, cause my work machine has Windows and I couldn't do a boot. And I just kind of learned how to use it, but I've been using VSL2 a lot on my other computer, but like, I'm not allowed to update this one to the like Windows 2004 or like the, the version Windows 10 version 2004 which allows me to use proper VSL2 so while I'm waiting for that I'm just using PowerShell but on my home computer which I have full update rights for that's where I can that's what I can I can I can do it there right Let's see, uh, I, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna simulate it by running the instructions, but I'm going to do something, uh, something similar. So... Let's see here. Um, go to update check for updates and uh, you know you click this button and it will say that you can update if, if your organization allows for it but uh, yeah it just says up to date and it's like managed by organization so I can't can't fix it I press press a Windows key and you search for update up check for updates Keep your keep your machine up to date. It's important stuff, you know. Addresses equals map first. Memops. Uh, we're gonna have yeah. Import data dot set. Maybe, you know, maybe there's like a nice way to do it, but not for me. Set dot from list.
addresses set from bum list well think for the follow x message I bet x message is a linux user oh sweet okay uh, Yeah, I mean, I, I I managed to do it on my other laptop or my other computer, but but uh, but it uh, it was illegal. Or like you know, I, I I'm not allowed to change that setting on this machine, which is very annoying. Frank, frankly. Okay, mask mask two addresses. It's going to take in a maybe unless it may be bull. Bull. Turn it to function in sixty four to uh, set in sixty four. Okay, so the floating bit, so the... So zip, zero, dot, dot. Um, reverse mask. Okay, so map. Okay, so and then we're gonna say here where have of a pair of i come up. So if I have, if I have nothing, then it's an x. Okay, if I have zero, it's gonna be id. That doesn't. So if that is unchanged, f is equal to i come up just true then it was one now this was just false just true was gonna be flip set bit i uh this is gonna be set dot singleton of a What is it saying here? Oh. So let's just first apply the... Let's just first apply the... The, the ones that just set it, right? That that will that will update the number. So let's see. Uh, so that will, this will give us a function from int sixty four to int sixty four. So the, the funk will be uh, funk takes an i64. Uh, and he will say okay. Sip zero on the reverse MSK. MSK, we will uh, 
just it and it's gonna be just just it this is gonna be and then we're gonna map maybe f Okay, so where base equals base i64. So first we apply the base function to get the actual function that we're going to be looking at. Uh, fold l period dollar of uh, id dollar. So then we let me have the number. And now we have to look at the changes we're going to make. Yeah. Right. Right. So this is going to be first a num to work work with equals it's going to be base i64. So that's the number we're working with. And then we're going to be flipping the bits. Uh, uh, so, so here we, we will have a uh, x locs is going to be map fst of uh, filter a uh, not is just of a uh, of uh, of the so we're gonna take the second second not is just a uh, map first second of of the mask and. Uh, Uh, no, this is a mask. Yeah, so this is gonna be mask ints, mask ints, mask ints. Now, for each of those indices, we want to create. We want to create the set of numbers that it generates. Oof, this is going to be exponential, right? And for the numbers X. What music playlist are you listening to? This is Harris Heller's Stream Beats EDM music. Uh, it's on Spotify. And because uh, like Twitch has been doing a lot of DMCAs. Recently, apparently, um, and uh, I don't want to be hit by one. And also, like uh, this is like you know, it's okay. So he has this playlist called Stream Beats EDM, copyright free electronic music. And then you know my uh, also, you know my YouTube videos of these sessions are also like they're not taken down by DMCA's and stuff. Okay, so I will generate. Okay, so X looks. Uh, up the X look. It's gonna be so empty, and then so far is gonna be so far. Up the x log i so far i and then is that's gonna be that's gonna be a map set dot map. Uh, Set bit uh, 
flip set bit i uh of so far and so up the x loc is going to take in a list of ints and it's going to take a list of set int 64 and it's going to return int set int 64 and this is going to be set dot union and then we're going to clear the bit clear a bit oh my god no i'm doing the thing again where i press the wrong button and yeah this is supposed to be so far This is going to be funk of uh, this is just needs, doesn't need to be in the function itself. This does not need to be in the function itself. Oh yeah, no, this is, this is this all has to be here. So this is going to be up the x loc of the x locs of set dot singleton num to work with and this is going to be funk Okay. So data block process. Okay, let's see. So here we generate all the addresses. So for each address, we generate the addresses it can go to. Let's see. Um, so this is going to take in a block and it's going to take in a, a set int 64 integer and it's going to return set int 64 and an integer okay now let's 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 look at this first right oh no let's okay let's let's do it let's just just do it just roll with it set int 64 comma integer to set int 64 comma integer what is it going to do so we're going to take a, a covered and we're going to take the cur sum so we are going to say Okay, so adder funk is going to be mask to addresses of the mask. And you find so that's the address function. Okay, uh, if anyone's here is Game of Thrones, the young Greyjoy and Tyrion. Damn. Um, I have no comment.
helmet. But that's a bit funny, right? So, uh, we're not going to be using this. We're going to be using deduped. So we're going to say here, fold L prime add and update uh, init init a uh, and then deduped where oh wow well, thanks for the oh that was nice add and update that's gonna take the the the, the covered and the current sum and it's going to take in uh, an address and a value it's we're going to say okay uh, so okay where address equals uh, uh, adder funk address set address set set of uh, the address But we are going to say, oops, we're going to say a uh, set dot uh, difference. Uh, so this is going to be, yeah, so this is going to be set dot difference without covered. Four nested wear cloths. Yeah, I mean, this is we're, we're scoping things here, right? So we're going to add and the new set. So total val added is the length of adders times val. A uh, new a. Uh, so covered prime is going to be uh, covered. Oh, can I say like disjoint union and that's faster? Disjoint union. Uh, no, okay, that's calculating it. Okay, this is the same union. Uh, this to check is subset of no I just I'll just say union covered set that union of the address this is gonna be cur sum plus total val added no uh, this is gonna be covered prime and this here is address set now it's complaining uh, that the return here is wrong Yeah, so we can't we can't fold this here. So let's flip this around. No, we don't need to flip it actually. This is gonna be this is gonna be a print of fold l prime of a uh, flip block sum on the initial value is set dot empty comma zero
Let's see. Non exhaustive patterns in function F. Right. F of anything else. Nothing. <laughs> yes, this is. Uh, okay, now we have 202. We're supposed to be getting 208. Uh, okay, let's, let's see here. What is wrong here? So, it says we covered addresses 26, 27, 58, 59. Yeah, that was the first one, right? And then it's supposed to cover 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26, 27. Is it because I forgot to reverse? Nope, we already reversed. Well, you can compile Haskell to JavaScript, right? So... You know... <laughs> you can just do what you want. Let me see. Now we're gonna be doing debug tracing! Whoop whoop! We don't use any of these. Import debug dot trace. Checkmate Simon. Why would you checkmate Simon, huh? Trace show id. Oh my god. Uh, address set. No. Woo. Lefu. Trace show id. Let's see. Let's see what's doing. Yes. There were trolls all along. Okay, so it, it's working. But only for one of them. Uh, so it's working for this one. Why is it only generating 58 to 59? So address set. So something wrong with our address set function here. Let's see. Uh, mask to addresses. Okay, now let's look at the. Uh, let's look at the trace show ID of X looks. Yeah, you're supposed to meme on Twitch, right? You know, cause I I I I wish I. Uh, yeah, it's gonna sound bad, but you know, I've tried to uh, be like every time my it doesn't work, I do like F in chat, but then it usually works. But you guys, you have to be spamming the memes, kappa, all that, all that stuff. Okay, so the X logs work. Uh, yes, you know what. If you're going to be recursing... Make sure you actually recurse. Uh, yes. Yeah, so... There's going to be... Where so far prime equals uh, 
Okay, let's see. Up the... So that's gonna be up the x loc IS. So for Prime. Does it work? Yes! We get 208. And look, we get all the addresses. And uh, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how bad, how bad is it? Measure, command, expression. Can you imagine if I was in Linux right now? I could just not write these things. 51 milliseconds. Uh, see, now it's like, oh, you don't know, need these. Now that's true, but like here, like here. Is it gonna work? No. Why are you telling me? Ugh. What is it? Oh, okay. Like, yes, I can do this, but... Sorry, I, I just, I don't want this blue line here. And here it's complaining that it's just function. Uh, it's complaining that is nothing. Okay, see now. Now I'll say is. I'll say is nothing. Okay, that is in data maybe. Okay, but in base, uh, pogs, uh, VSL two. That's Windows subsystem on Linux two, and the absolute mad lads over at Microsoft. They just have an actual Windows kernel, a Linux kernel running on a Hyper-V. Like they're virtualizing an actual Linux machine on your Windows machine. And then you just like SSH into it. And then like VS Code will be running, like running on my Windows machine, but like it has a remote connection to the VSL machine. So super fast. And you get all the goodies of actual Linux, you know, because it's in the actual kernel. So, like, even weird programs that use, like, kernel functions, they work. And they are going to add GPU support soon. Uh, why I'm not using it at the moment, like I've said before, uh, you need to update to Windows 2004 or Windows 10 version 2004. But uh, I am not allowed by my organization to do that. So uh, I can't do it. Yeah, I know. I would do it, but it doesn't work. So once I'm allowed to update this to the latest and greatest Windows, I can finally go back to that. But you know, I don't have, I, I, didn't, I didn't bring my desktop all the way over here. Can I get an F in chat? Okay, so I think, what I'm thinking is that this is not too bad. We, we're just taking set unions and stuff. And then we're only adding things if we need to. We're not like building the entire map or running the entire program. So this is kind of like the program analysis way of doing it. Oscar Allen, they're the only one actually they're actually like the other ones are just on you know twitch to watch this content but he's the twitcher you know he's um he knows what it's about okay can i uh, so this works on the input and the time to beat is 220 milliseconds uh, let's see. Let's uh, rem let's remove these addresses. I mean, they won't be used if we're not actually using it. But it's gonna be fine. Wow. 
Hey, you can use my new emoji. It got accepted this weekend. Are you are you all ready? Are you ready? All right. This is the new emoji. If you don't understand something in Haskell, just go Tritlo. Hmm. <laughs> and it has the Haskell logo with a hmm on it. I stole it from Surihack. Well, like I I stole it from the I stole it. I I borrowed it from the Suri Hack Discord server. It is so good. I just want you to go, to go forth on Twitch, and like every programming thing, just like why aren't you using Haskell? Hmm. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I I love it. So this is gonna be fast. This is gonna be fast. Now let's remove these trace show IDs this here however it's not gonna be fast fold L compose over something let's see how it does on the input and uh, if it's taking so long that we can't wait then we will stop so where's the last debug trace trace show id it's here some actual drops in these songs it's good okay and then i don't actually use this Oh, thanks for the follow. You know, I appreciate all follows. They are they are nice. <laughs> yeah, Mona tutorials. They are uh, yeah, there's something. You know, the real Mona tutorial is always in the comments. No, the real Mona tutorial is to realize that monads are just. What? They're just an endofunctor in the... They're an endofunctor, they're a monoid in the category of endofunctors, you know? But, uh, I think, you know, if you, if you... So, like, the way, when I figured out monads, if I can say I've done that, was when I realized that there's nothing to figure out. You just use them. Exactly, you literally just use them and you read the compiler errors. And if you fix those errors, the monad works. So just just do that. Okay, so this is gonna we're gonna rock it. We're gonna rock 'em sock 'em. Are you ready? This is gonna take uh take a bit longer ooh uh i didn't i think there's some debug trace there can i get an f in chat <laughs> cuz my editor just froze oof what did i do wrong let me let me let me oh uh, uh, am I are you getting frame drops and stuff now because am I just not broadcasting anything anymore? Ooh. <laughs> God damn. Video still good. Good stuff. Okay, that was fun. But uh, this is why you need to test. Uh, day 14. Let's run it again. Let's run it back. On the test input, there's some... What is this from list? Oh, is it because I... I'm... Oh my god. But you see, it finished. You wouldn't have started printing that list if it hadn't finished, right? So it didn't take too long. Wow! 25 milliseconds on the test input. 
I got I got impressed for a second there. Uh but I was too impressed. So we got the list of literally every address. Okay, uh 200 milliseconds. Is this correct? Let's see. That's not the right answer. Oof. Can I get an F in chat? Damn it. Oh my god. Wow. So we reverse the blocks. And then we only add the ones that Let's 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 make sure we we actually reverse the blocks. a bummer yeah seems like a way to go right so this is the mask uh, and then it says six one one three six seven four six six three seven and let's look at our input Six six three seven five two four nine. Yeah, this is this is we did reverse it. It compiles, it works. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take one minute break. I just need to get over this. You know, it's too much. Give me a sec. I know what the error is. I know what it is. Uh, so because so it applies memory operations, and the thing the thing that we're doing wrong. So, so we only update the values that are going to be updated. But what we did wrong is that we didn't flip the memory operations within the blocks, right? So if you get an overlap later in the block from something, that's what we didn't flip. So what so here we have the up dx logs. So we need to we need to take care. Uh We need to we need to fix it. We need to make sure that it does it correctly. So this is mask to addresses. Uh so add an update. So are we uh, reverse I think that's the issue. Let's see. This is not the same number as before, right? We said something like this. I think it's gonna be this. Alright! 
We were missing one more reverse. Damn it. Okay, that was... I was... Yeah, all right. We did it. The thing is that we... So we... Because we, we, we reversed the entire thing, right? So we did per block. But we forgot overlapping addresses within blocks. That would always resolve to the last one. What time did I get? Uh, 127 milliseconds. Just the program. Uh, but... But, uh, yeah, round 120. This is actually faster for some reason than the one where we did, we didn't reverse him. I don't know. I don't know why. What if we, can we, can we optimize it a bit? Can we just say in 64 right here? Do, 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 do. Uh, total val added, and then this is gonna take in. I think the that's the issue. slightly well okay that didn't change much um yeah get to this fix so we did it it worked uh, it took you what 0 0.8 seconds it took me use use uh, you said 220 milliseconds, right? Something like that. So you, you did it in, you did it in point zero point zero eight seconds. That's that's 80 milliseconds, right, Timmy? pretty good we we got it in uh, 120 but uh, yeah I think maybe you know if you do it with the uh, data dot map and you use like the lazy map it like it won't do anything unless you when you, until you actually sum the elements in the end and then like all the lazy updates will just have been, you know, like, oh, I won't update it here. I will just have updated it with the exact value that it ended up being with. And like we're essentially, we're essentially calculating all that already. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Did I dot set? Did I dot set Haskell? Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in the that uh, that it's not uh, not as fast. I have to admit. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom. We could, um, we could, we could try something. Let's see, you invert. Yeah. Oops. 
Yeah, you see I have 1909, but I, I need 2004. Or to work. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I don't think we can... I mean, there's not so many... There's not so many... Many, uh... There's not so much we can... We can fix here, right? This is just... This is all just gonna take a lot of time. Let's see, uh, maybe if we can do the set bit and that stuff. Da -da -da bit. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking, thinking about this set, set, sync, flip, just flip set bit. Just it. I'm thinking if we could just like generate the one. Yeah, yeah. So you need to like update the VSL some way. You like to you know, I think you kind of need to remove the old VSL and then update the VSL to make it work. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Hold L prime. That's not. That doesn't matter, right? Hundred and ten milliseconds sometimes. I think it's also to me that uh, you're like not running OBS and everything at the same time. That might might be it. I think it's hard. So I think we have like the same order. Um, I was just wishing that that this would be a bit faster because we do avoid doing a lot of computations. But then again, it means it means that. Uh, you know, I'm doing so much, so many set operations, which the which don't really matter. Like, because uh, I like I like figure out exactly which ones I'm going to update, and then we, and then we add the rep, rep, uh, value with that also. But I, you know, I think there is a way to do this. Using some clever bit tricks, you know, by by saying, okay, what if what is what is x? So if you want both values, you do you 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 add sixty four to it, and then you you, you remove sixty four from it. If if it's setting that bit, so you could you could flip it. You know, there's there is like some. Definitely some clever integer bit binary tricks you could use here. But we're just not seeing it. Let's see. Uh, fold L. So base is this. So fold L, id map maybe. We're going to be applying that all the time. So let's... Do here. Let's apply this to zero bits. What? And uh, oh, bid is gonna be so base applied to zero bits, and then num to work with. That's going to be uh, 
Mask Ints. This doesn't need to be in the function, right? Map may be F. Uh, so base is going to be a function from int 64 to int 64. And bid, and then this should be number to work with is I64. I think it's, and then we do XOR with the bid now that doesn't change anything we still get the same answer yeah right what was our answer no this is the wrong answer because we want to do we want to we want to do not xor we'll do dot and dot then we set all the bits to one uh this is still wrong answer right um This is the right answer, but that doesn't need to be. Also, this can be out here. And actually, this is all. I mean, all of this is not specific to the integer itself. So we can do here, uh, like one like this. Yeah, I mean, we're always around that mark, right? Like 120-ish. Yeah, I was just trying... I tried to change it, see if it, like, helped. But it didn't change anything. So the fold L1 is strict, and, like, we're going to need... We, we need the results of everything, so... Uh, and, like, yeah... But this here thing is always going to be exponential, right? And or like this is going to take a lot of work to calculate this. So yeah, I don't think we can boost the, boost the, I mean, it's definitely like, I, I don't, I don't think we can do this in any faster runtime, uh, you know, not without figuring out how the coverings work without doing set operations. That's just too much, right? Uh... Yeah, so uh, let's, uh... I think I'll call it a day here. I was gonna do one day 13 
or day 11. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I think I'll take like a bit of a break. And we can continue with day 11 after this because like uh, that's my plan for the evening. But I'm not going to take like an hour break. And uh, I'll, I'll take a break for an, about an hour. And then we'll be back at like 9 o'clock uh, UTC. And uh, yeah, that's exactly to me. I mean, this, we're not saving anything. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to go offline now for like an hour. And then I'll come back. And I hope to see you all then. Uh, for some more advent of code to do day 11 because you know I'm gonna have some dinner drink some water you stretch it tread out a bit it's been a three hour session you know it's quite a lot all right see you all in an hour <laughs>